I know, I know, I wasn't done explaining yet. There's more about scene files? Oh yes, much more. If you want to modify the settings on any of the scene files, you can make your own and give it a name. To do this, open the scene file menu again and use any of the options provided to adjust the scene file to your needs. You can adjust the detail level in the detail level menu. You can adjust the strength of the outline and vertical direction of the images in the V detail menu. The chroma level adjusts the saturation of the colors in the image too much and the colors may begin to bleed, too little and the image will begin to look grayscale. The chroma phase adjusts the green to magenta shades of an image. The color temp menu adjusts the warmth and coolness of the image. Adjust downwards adds warmth or significantly decreases the blue hues in the shot. Adjust upwards does just the opposite by reducing the oranges and adding blues. These features can be used to correct a white balance or just change the appearance of the shot to your liking. For adjusting the black master pedestal, use the master ped menu. This adjusts the black in the image, the detail in the shadows, etc. In the gamma menu, you can adjust the gamma curve. Low gives the images a calm, composed look, a sharp touch conveyed by the contrast. Norm produces standard images. High makes dark areas appear lighter. A soft touch is conveyed by the contrast. B-Press makes the image even sharper contrast than the low setting. Cinelike provides a gamma curve that resembles a cinema-like finish. Cinelike D increases the dynamic range of the Cinelike setting, adding more noise but reducing contrast. Cinelike V produces movie-like images with priority given to contrast. You can adjust skin tone detail in the Skin Tone Detail menu. By turning this on, the detail in skin tone areas diminishes and becomes less grainy. Alright, well that's everything you need to know about the DVX100. Right on!